Welcome back to Breaking Waves. On this week's episode. But heading out, gonna make this point, gonna have a big sale today and... Yo! I'm just blown away by how good the landing craft is and how useful it is. So not much wind, but I'll take the sunshine. Thanks for tuning in. This is Ben, our Gene Vest loving, fearless captain. One day he convinced me to go along with him on the adventure of buying and moving on to a sailboat, Kiana. <laughs> and since then, we've had no regrets. <laughs> I'm Allie, by the way, first mate and fishing enthusiast. And together, we've been exploring the Pacific Northwest, and one day we hope to take her home and our surfboards even further. <laughs> oh, this is Bruce, our sandy boat dog. Thanks for coming along with us, and special thanks to our patrons for keeping us going. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe this is a thing right now. Good morning. It is 5 a.m. It's still pitch dark out. And uh, I have been tasked with trying to get Ben out of bed. <laughs> Hardest task of the day. We have about 20 nautical miles to go until we even reach the point today. Um, and it's pretty hectic right now. I think it's about 15 to 25 knots outside but it's supposed to calm down to about four right around eight and uh, we're hoping to catch that. Um, Estevan Point can get pretty crazy um, and the last time that we were out in the ocean like open ocean the seas were like four meters and it was kind of awful for me <laughs> so um, we're gonna try and catch that little lull of less wind especially because we don't have a mainsail So we gotta get moving. We got about three hours until we're even out anywhere near the point. So I got coffee on. Bruce has been fed. Just gotta get Ben out of bed now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good. I think it's good, yes. It really is such a shame that we have to leave. I feel like we didn't get to explore. It's a beautiful anchorage. I would have loved to stay and explore a little bit more, get to know it a little bit better in daytime. It was incredible last night. Ben and I sat on the deck and um, looked at the stars and there were so many stars. But not only that, there was a seal um, chasing fish around on our boat and the bioluminescence from the seal was just like incredible. It was like little bursts and we could see where the seal was just based on that. But yeah, gotta go, gotta go back to work. Gotta make our weather window. I should explain um, that I don't think 15 to 20 knots is hectic. Ben was making fun of me for that. Uh, so my opinions are only mine and not Ben's. Uh, it should be pretty good today, as long as our uh, sail stays in. So it's probably coming up on six and we're anchors up, heading out, reluctantly, but heading out. Gonna make this point, gonna have a big sail today and yeah, we'll be in Hashquit Harbor, I think, probably by the end of the day, we'll see. Let's go.
We made it to the point on time to find clean, rolly seas and about five knots of wind on the beam. And the wind didn't fill in later that day either, so instead of stopping in Heshquit Harbor, we just kind of didn't want to stop yet. We kept going and ended up all the way down in Tofino. We made it all the way home. So we're back at our favorite watering hole. Cheers. We didn't die and we didn't break the boat. <laughs> We did have a casualty on the trip, and unfortunately it was the SD card that was in the GoPro. Don't ask me how, but it was definitely frustrating to lose all of that footage. I wish I could have shown you. Good morning. Um, back on the boat, just me, right now. I'm in Yuklula and loading up for a few nights out in Barclay Sound. Linking up with the Rugged Coast Research Society team, these guys here. Uh, this is the final cleanup of the season. We're meeting up with the Warriors from Hawaii at First Nation, and we're gonna clean up the deer group. Um, I got one of the volunteers coming with us, Kasia. I've never met her before, but she arrives in about an hour. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get the boat ready to go, load it up, Bruce is coming too. And yeah, it looks like a good sail. Looks like we'll have about 15 knots on the beam to get out to where we're going today. Uh, um, but tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, so. We'll get at least one nice dry day to end the big season of cleaning up. So we got Kasha on board. She's volunteering with us this weekend. We just made it through the broken group after some pretty pretty legit swell out there today. I think it's it's reading 10 foot on the local buoy. It's pretty good seas. But nice and calm in here in the in the middle of the broken group. And then we'll go out into the middle of Barkley Sound and across to the deer group next where the rest of the crew is gonna be. So I'm expecting when we get past this island here to my starboard that um, swell will probably pick back up. Hopefully Kasha doesn't get sick. She was feeling a little bit earlier, but I think she'll be all right. And yeah, we got some sunshine right now and cruising around about four knots on a beam reach. Life is good. Looking forward to seeing the boys, the crew. I just grabbed Kasha. We're gonna go to the more inside part of the dew group to a different anchorage. Um, so that means I've got a, probably a couple hours to get there and I figured Kasha's gonna be tenting tonight. So I figured she should jump in with them and get herself set up because they'll be way faster than me. Yeah, so just me now, heading east. By the way, this is the Dodger Channel out on Diana Island. So we had like three meter seas just outside of this little channel and it's like perfectly calm here right now. It's beautiful. Great little anchorage. So yeah, if you're ever looking to get out of the swell, this is a good spot to do that. Kasha. She was a nice girl, it's nice to have some company on the sail. But honestly, I'm a bit of an introvert and I was just really looking forward to being out in the water on my own. She was like a last minute addition to the crew. 
And yeah, it was nice to have her for the first bit, but now I'm really looking forward to probably like a two hour sunny downwind sail all by myself. I just get to soak it up. This is probably the last last opportunity of this season that I'll have to have a sail like this. So. much wind but I'll take the sunshine. Alright so I think I found a spot for the night. Um, 50 feet of water right now it is high tide that is a lot that's a pretty deep anchorage but i think it'll work just fine well, rennie and i were just taking care of some business business, business now time. we're now we're gonna go join the crew they've already been out there for a couple hours so hopefully they got some good debris collected bruce yeah no otters on the boat please no you can't come <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna catch a ride here with aaron out to the rest of the crew It'll be a little faster than taking the dink who's gonna tow the dink I'm just blown away by how good the landing craft is and how useful it is. We used to have to load everybody out in our other boat into a dinghy and shovel them to shore. And it just takes so much longer. This is way more efficient. Oh, so sleepy. Alrighty, back on the boat. We're done for the day. There wasn't a ton in this area. Not that we would really expect it to be as much as other parts of the coast that are a little more exposed, but, but we, got a, we got a bunch. We're gonna go sort it at the campsite, cook some dinner, call it a night. For anybody who's new here, I just want to let you know that a portion of our proceeds do go towards Rugged Coast Research Society to help them clean up the ocean. If you want to contribute in any way or volunteer your time, we will put a link to their website in the description below. Shout out to SB Genesis for joining our Patreon team this week. Thanks for watching and we will see you at the next episode. Alright buddy. Ready to go home?